Hello lovely people, how are we doing? So today I have a wee bit of a haul for you. I recently had to go home for sad circumstances and what I do when I travel and I'm not feeling particularly chipper is a shop. I need to find out better coping, coping mechanisms people. Anyway, I popped into, I was flying through Stansted, I have never flown through Stansted before and I discovered Hema. I hope that's how you pronounce it, H-E-M-A. Um, I've never been into that shop before and it has all sorts of everything from homeware to clothes to makeup to stationery to you name it like seriously they have so many things so I thought I'd share it's a bit of a mix so I'll get started with the kind of stationery things that I bought just because my pencil case is all gone to pot and I need a pen and whatever so I thought I'd share some of the that to get us warmed up first is this pencil case now it's kind of that, um, you know the Ikea bags material where it's not canvasy, it's that plasticky kind of material. It was only like a quid or something or two quid and it's just so cute and it made me smile and it's got this little uh, locket. Isn't it really cute? And I really like it, it's a good size. It already has all my pencil, uh, colouring pencils in there. Yes, I have colouring pencils. I don't care. So it's already got them all in there. Um, I use them for my bullet journal and I use it to colour in and I'm a big kid, it makes me happy, but isn't it a great, rather snazzy pencil case. I also got a second pencil case for actual pens and for doing stuff. So this, again, not very expensive, I think we're talking like two pound or something like that. So let me just take something out there. So this nice pattern, that was good. So I got that, um, again, not very much and it just holds everything really nicely and I got some pens because you know girl can't have too many pens these are all fine point felt pens and look at those all the colors so I use these for my bullet journal I like fine point pens for writing and stuff and um, I would actually my only annoyance with these I would like them slightly thicker I find them a wee bit too slim but they work really well nice color range and just makes life easy I like the little case I'm actually, I was gonna put this back in, I've been just putting it in like this into my pencil case. But, you know, if I'm going to a meeting, like yesterday, I was up to London for a PR event and I needed to bring a pen. So I just grabbed that little case. Why not? I don't care, I'm an adult. So yeah, I really like, it's a much more of a sturdy, um, that washable material, it's heavy duty plastic. Um, and it works really well, it's great. Also from Hema was this body scrub. I've not used it yet. I wanted to do this video so I could use it. <laughs> yes, yes, I am that person. It's, it's called A State of Bliss and it's just your average body scrub. It seems to be, uh, it's a gel, not seems to be, it is, it's a gel um, with, with stuff in it. So looking forward to trying that out. I have been using another scrub that is just pants, frankly, and doesn't de deal with sort of, you know, you have ingrown hairs on the bikini line and stuff that you have to deal with. I need a good body scrub to help with that, so I thought I'd pick that up. Now I got two nail polishes, well I got a nail polish and a top coat. I went for a long lasting nail polish in spicy grey which I'm actually wearing and then a top coat which is quick dry. Again these weren't particularly expensive, I think around the 5-ish pound mark, can't remember off the top of my head, but I quite like the nail polish. It doesn't last as long as I would like, but then I've been doing washing up without the gloves on, so I'm not entirely sure. Mm. But it chip, it has chipped already on me, which is a wee bit annoying. The top coat I quite like, it's super shiny, like really shiny. So that's really, really nice. I quite enjoy a nice shiny finish on my nails. Um, and something else is the Bye Bye Eye Makeup Remover Oil. And I just got a little version of this because I wasn't sure how the product would play. It's fragrance free and everything and it actually works really well. Really really surprised about that. I'm actually a bit gutted I only got the small version. Um, but Hema are online which I discovered through Twitter. Hooray! So I will likely pick this up again. I'm really really impressed with it. I do actually prefer using a balm to take all my makeup off. However I was traveling I'd forgotten to take the balm. I need the stuff to sort my face out. In step this beauty. So really really pleased I picked that up. I've already as you can see used it quite a few times and you don't need very much. You just make sure you leave it sitting on your eyeball for a few minutes and then swipe away, otherwise you'll scrub. It even took off my waterproof mascara. So that was a winning moment. 
the last thing I got from Hema was this Ultimate Lash Catcher Mascara. Now I've used this, I'm actually wearing it today. I really like it. I'm really, really impressed. It's a plasticky bristle wand. Um, it coats my lashes really, really nicely all the way to the end of the lash really nicely. Does a good job, I'm just impressed. Um, recommend checking it out. I will do like a blog post on it, so keep an eye over on the blog for that. But yeah, I was actually surprisingly impressed with that. Now, on the way back through Belfast, <laughs> I stopped at Duty Free. You know, what girl doesn't when I, I was there longer than I anticipated. So I was flying back with my brother, but he was getting a flight an hour earlier than me. So I was at the airport an hour early and then my flight was delayed. Life. <laughs> So I decided to pop in. I needed a moisturizer. My moisturizer is almost all gone and they don't, it was a limited run on their moisturizer. Who does that people? What is that about? So I needed a moisturizer. So here we have, oh, annoyingly something got in the box there, hang on. So first up is the face cream. It's a seaweed daily moisture face cream. I've never heard of Green Asia before, but they've won awards. I sort of had a quick Google and they seem to be decent. It's got jasmine, neroli and vitamin E. So this is moisturizing and rejuvenating. And I'm all for supporting Irish brands when I can, which is probably a bit. I like to support small brands, local brands and Irish brands because that's the kind of person I am, people. Uh, I like to support my own. Um, I love the packaging, it looks really cute. So, oh, my lid's on wrong. That's annoying. Oh, the lid seems to sit funny. Look at me talking about supporting local and then your lid sits funny. What is that about? Well, it's probably because it's been in my suitcase and moved about a bit. This, like I said, it's called the Seaweed Dilly Moisture Face Cream. And it's it was really nice. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I did test it out. It smells really good. It smells nice and fresh. Um, all the good stuff and it wasn't too expensive either it was I picked that up for 18 pound which is actually a bit expensive but I wanted to try it out I was having one of those days um, and then the second thing I picked up was the seaweed face mask with aloe vera and avocado again it's moisturizing and rejuvenating which my face needs at the minute so that's the box that they come in nice packaging and it tells you loads on the side and it gives you all the information and um, this is when you leave on for 20 minutes and then you rinse it off let me just show you the box with this um so the moisturizer you got how many mil so with the moisturizer you get 50 mil and then the clear mask again similar packaging and again you also it's there's 50 mil in this as well so it is a wee bit high end but you know it's good to try these things out and the mask was 15 pounds well 14 and you got a 14 49 they were on offer so they saved a wee bit of wee bit of money on them uh, the lady also threw in some uh, samples for me so I have the seaweed night mask or night cream sorry with six essential oils the seaweed and collagen face cream and the seaweed body lotion with neroli and chamomile and each of these have 7.5 grams in so there's that um but yeah i'm really looking forward to trying these out my face cream is almost all gone i will be doing a review on some skincare products soon because i've been meaning to do them for ages but i've not really been set up for them and i've been trying to figure that out but i will figure it out people you will be getting a, a review soon but that's the whole crack that's all that i picked up when i was traveling more than enough i hear you say yes yes i agree i obviously picked up like a blogosphere magazine and things like that too so you don't need to see that i just like those magazines yeah that's the whole crack if you've any questions about anything let me know down below if you've tried any of the products um also let me know down below i'd love to know how you got on or if you think i'm doing something funny or anything else from Hema that I need to try out because that store seems to have everything. It had foundation and all sorts of makeup and all sorts of products but I was traveling through the airport and I couldn't really buy everything which is probably a good thing because I probably would have bought far too much. But yeah that's the whole crack. Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all of your friends and I will see you in the next video.